All right, so we're gonna be replacing the hub on a Lexus LS430. Start by taking a wheel off. That's good. So we've already replaced the right side. And as you can see, it gets pretty rusted up right around here. So I'd recommend getting you a hub puller. Or what we ended up doing was just beating the crap out of it with the hammer. And we tried the rubber mallet and then went to a uh, straight up metal uh, sledgehammer. And uh, got that guy done. He's working on the, the left side now. Right, so now we've got the tire off. But we want to go ahead and take this rotor off in the caliper and what we're going to do is just take the caliper and suspend it over here with something instead of undoing it and having a bunch of brake fluid go everywhere um, and then after that there's going to be four bolts on the back side which we'll show to you here in a minute so as we're taking the caliper off we've got two 19 millimeters here one up there but You just pull the caliper off and then what we're going to do is suspend it here on this jack stand try to take some of the tension off the hoses there just tuck that out of the way and take off the rotor and now we have four bolts on the back side here this is the front here one two and then two on the bottom three or four as you can see here on the back we've got one two and on the other side, three and four. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that. All right, so for the bolts on the back of this hub, go ahead and get you a 17 millimeter and start taking those guys off. I'll try to get you a little better angle here. It's not so good, but you'll see them. So there's four bolts in the back of there, and then there's a little clip. Uh, I believe oh, yeah, it's for the um, ABS. Yeah. So go ahead and take that off. You might need a little flat tip or something to release a little clip on that. Alright, so as you can see, this this piece is going to come out like this, straight out, and all of the corrosion happens on here, so you got to beat this really hard in order to get it loose. But we took those bolts out, now we're going to we're gonna get the rest out. There you have it. So you can see all the corrosion inside there. That's why it takes so hard to get that out. We're going to go ahead and clean this up here with a wire brush and then run a little anti seize around so the next time it's hopefully not such a pain in the you know what. So go ahead and clean that guy up real nice. Now we're just slapping a little bit of anti-seize when we throw these bolts back in here. Can't really see what we're doing here, but. Uh, I, I promise you they're in there. Right, so we went ahead and put the hub on, put anti-seize on all, all four bolts, and the little clip on the back, the orientation of the, oh, you can't really see it, but yep. the orientation of that guy is facing forward, and on the right side it's facing backwards. That's just how it was uh, factory, so that's the way we put it back. Mm -hmm. Alright, now we're just going to put the rotor back on and the brake assembly back on. Two bolts. One on the top, one on the bottom. We went ahead and slapped a little anti-seize on those guys as well. And we're gonna put the tire on and we're done. Put the tire on, tighten it down. 
lower and take her for a test drive. Hope you liked our video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. Just kidding. Because we don't really. We got, yeah, we don't have nothing to subscribe, subscribe to, to. But that's what everybody else says. So uh, we're just a couple of normal guys. We're not mechanics. Go, go ahead and, and like it. This job will. This, uh, is, this is your your uh, cooler garage DIY. That's right. They were going to charge me eight hundred dollars to do this. I just did both tires in, in an hour. For fifty bucks. For yeah, for, fifty for, bucks uh, a side. eBay Motors, baby. Get you some.